Hello. I am a Five Point Baptist. And I am a Christian. Are you a Five Point Baptist? No. I am a Methodist. Then you are going to hell. What? Why? Because it is stated in the Bible. That I am going to hell? I am a Methodist because I believe it is the best understanding of the Gospel. You are either a Five Point Baptist Calvinist Christian or you are not a Christian. You must believe in TULIP because it falls in line with Scripture. Anything that does not fall in line with Scripture will damn you to a fiery pit of torture. Repent and receive the Gospel. But I already believe in the Gospel. The Gospel is the good news of Jesus dying for our sins. I have assurance of eternal life thanks to Jesus giving his life for me. Jesus did not die for everyone. He only died for the elect. So in other words, tough sheet, Sherlock. He did not die for your sins, but for the sins of the elect. I am part of the elect, therefore, I am saved. And you are going to hell. But what about John 3:16? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for us. The text does not mean that translation means because the translation is in English. The original text was more narrow in meaning. So that means when translations were made of the original Greek and Hebrew scriptures but have translated to be mean something different? It does not mean, world, the way it really means. Yes. Translations fucked up the Bible over the last 400 years or so. We have translations because of the differences in languages and men are so totally depraved that they are not able to translate accurately the gospel, let alone accept the gospel. But God promised that he would preserve his word. Yes, but humans are evil and sinful, hence the translations have messed up the true meaning of the world. You must also look at it in context. Okay, I'm not sure I agree with your understanding of scripture. However, we are brothers in Christ. You are not my brother in Christ. You are my enemy. Jesus did not come to bring peace, but the sword. Jesus came to bring salvation for both the Jews and the Gentiles. Yes, but only if the Jews and the Gentiles are part of the elect. That sounds really dogmatic. Christianity is by definition dogmatic, but it's not dogma in the way the Catholic Church uses it. The Catholic Church follows a religion. We have a relationship with God. Okay, so if it's dogmatic, and my understanding of the Gospel is incorrect, then does that mean that my understanding of the gospel will send me to hell? Yes. You will go to hell if you do not follow the correct doctrine of true, biblical Christianity. But what about babies, Roman Catholics, Eastern Orthodox Christians, and people who don't have access to the gospel and have never heard of Jesus? They will go to a fiery pit of eternal torture. Okay, that makes me uncomfortable. The gospel is supposed to make you uncomfortable. That's not what's making me uncomfortable. 6. It's your absolutely dogmatic insistence that I must follow Christianity your way or I will go to hell. God predestined who will be the elect and who will be damned to a fiery pit of hell. Okay, you're pushing it. If what you're saying is true, then how God be a God of love? How God a loving God? God only loves the elect. You are not part of the elect. You will burn in hell you heathen. You are not a Christian. You were never a Christian. Repent and turn to the gospel. Fuck this sheet. I am now an atheist. I can thank religious idiots like you for making me an atheist. That person was never a Christian.